I think everybody thinks I sit behind this desk all the time. The fact that I've absolutely sunburned the ever-loving shit out of myself lately, I think might be <clears throat> contra-indicative of the assumption that I'm always sitting behind this desk. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, too much caffeine. Pardon me. No, I don't drink. I don't do drugs, if anybody's assuming something like that. Um, you know, so much is subjective in uh, photography, especially when it comes to um, you know, aesthetic appeal, what it is we do or do not like to shoot, what we think is awesome, what we think sucks, so on and so forth. I'm going to roll over and make a couple of videos tonight on some rock-hard stuff that none of you have a chance in hell of disagreeing with me on. And of course, someone's going to try to disagree with me. But nevertheless, they will be flat out, hardcore, just wrong. Just dead wrong. A couple important things in this particular video. Everybody keeps asking me, actually a lot of people are always asking me about, uh, you know, easy ways to make money in photography. I want to get into photography. I print up some business cards, sign up for a free blog spot, you know, start pressing the flesh. There's a lot of ways to socialize. You'll actually end up with so much work so fast, it's unbelievable. But here's one thing you can do. Number one, pro-sling your camera. But I'm going to talk about that secondarily here in a second. I, I, I can't stand seeing... Everybody has them. I must have like 50 of them. You know the camera straps that come with your camera, whether that's a really expensive Nikon or Sony or Fuji. Yeah, no, actually the Fuji GFX neoprene strap is a professional looking strap. Th those things suck. My point is, is that a pack, a professional camera, the bigger the better. And of course, you know, I'm all about my, the camera that I actually use all the time, X-T2 or X-H1, crop sensory camera. But people being what they are, you know, like someone would think you're a professional uh, driver if you drive like a really, really fast Lamborghini, for example, a souped-up Lamborghini. You could be the best driver in the world and drive around in a, a Toyota Prius. Like you're a NASCAR champion driving around in a Toyota Prius, but no one's going to consider you, you know, not even for a millisecond to be a good driver if you're driving around in one of those beep beep, you know, those little cars. Um, photography is about imagery, and of course people are superficial. They say today that people don't judge people by the way they look. You know, we don't judge a book by its cover. We all judge. Let's be honest. If, like, I'm in the mall and some naked dude walks in with one hand on his hoo-hoo and uh, talking to himself, I'm going to like, that dude's crazy. We all judge. So pack around the big professional camera with a professional strap. And um, you, this is the question you guys asked me. This is, there's nobody, you haven't got a chance in hell of refuting me on this. You will end up with so many people stopping you every five seconds, asking you, you know, hey, you must be a professional photographer. Do you know, do you do some work? I have this small business. I need some uh, corporate shots. We got a, a, a corporate gig next week. Would you be interested? Here's my business card. They will without even asking you for your business cards, which you should always have on you, they will ask, uh, excuse me, they will uh, offer you their business card and they will want you to contact them as soon as possible. You will end up with so much effing work so fast, your head will spin. Now there's a thousand things you could do to get jobs in photography. I prefer to do the easy stuff where people don't bitch and complain and that's why wedding photography sucks. Anybody that loves wedding photography, good. You know, I don't believe in hard work. I believe uh, in smart work. Smart work means not dealing with like emotional, irrational people that want their uh, their pictures reprinted and you know crop it this way. I would like it if you did this way. I would like it. You know, the hell with that. The people that don't complain, as long as you do a decent job, product, corporate, event photography, you'll end up with a lot of work. Just pack it around everywhere possible, especially to events where there's a lot of people. Dress nicely. Nice button down would certainly help. Um, the point is, is ProPack, the biggest professional camera that you have. Walk around with it. Obviously use it. You're not, you, you know, 
I mean, women pack around their damn purses everywhere, you know, full of all sorts of odds and ends and crap that they don't normally use. It's like, it's a, of course, there's all sorts of humor bits about women packing around purses that have absolutely everything in them, including, why the hell don't you, if you want to make money in photography, you're just advertising that you're a professional photographer. You may not be a professional photographer, but if you want to do work, pack around a big professional camera. The bigger, the better. I hate to say it, but people judge. You know, if you pack around, well, I, be, <laughs> I was about to grab for a really small camera. Um, people notice that, hey, this guy's packing around what looks like a really expensive camera. And it's not on a regular camera strip. That's my other thing. That's my other thing. Um, and like I said, I have, there's nothing wrong with them if you want to, I'm sorry, but I have this horrible pet peeve against the camera straps that come with each and every camera. There's only a couple exceptions, like the really big professional GFX uh, strap that comes with the uh, Fujifilm GFX medium format. But even that, I actually side saddle sling it. I actually sling it to the side of the camera and the bottom, so it'll actually let me sling it, uh, pro sling it. Um, like a uh, Black Rapid sling. Here's a Black Rapid sling. Why don't you spend 25... I can't stand. Nobody takes you, uh, takes you seriously. Even people that don't know shit about photography. If they see a really expensive camera hanging off that goddamn, excuse my language, piece of crap camera strap that came with your Nikon D4, Nikon D5, your uh, Fujifilm X-T2, sorry Fujifilm, all those camera straps, they just suck ass. You know what you do with each and every camera that you get professional? X-T2, uh, Nikon D4, D4S, D5, Nikon D8, the hell with it. What you do is you open up the box, you take out your camera, and you close the box back up again, and you throw it in your closet. You never use those straps. You never, I hate to say this, you're never going to look like a professional. Isn't that superficial? But people are superficial. Photography is fundamentally just a little bit superficial. It's about image, right? There's no truth in photography. Everybody wants their images to look really awesome. Like if you're paid a lot of money, or at least a decent amount of money, or the proper amount of money to like take images for a hotel for... Uh, to pop up on Expedia. Hey, Joe Schmo, we're going to pay you a thousand bucks. We want you to take picture of our dumpy and shitty motel to pop up on our website and on Expedia and Hotels.com. I mean, what you're going to do is you're going to show the hotel in the best light. That is, if you ever want to work again. Nobody is paying you to tell the truth in photography. No old woman says, I'm going to pay you to take a picture of how I really look. No, 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 no. What you're going to do is you're going to grab a ring light, which is absolutely famous for removing the wrinkles out of some uh, old wrinkled up puss, you know, somebody's face. There's no truth in photography. Photography is not about telling the truth. It's actually about giving the client what they want. Um... If you want to make money, and there's a lot of little tips and tricks, no one's mentioned this in any video, but I mean, it works every time. You haven't got a chance in hell of refuting me on this. Not a chance in hell. Pack around the biggest professional camera you got. Pro sling it, not with that goddamn camera strap that came with the camera when you bought it. Well, it's a Nikon D5, or it's a Fujifilm X-T2, or it's the, I don't care. Every strap that comes with every professional camera is a piece of crap. I make my own camera straps. I've actually got several videos on a really unique camera strap that I use quite often. I've made like six of them. That lets me pro sling the camera. Kind of like a Black Rapid does. That lets you pack it side saddle, except it has much fewer parts and it has more safety features than the Black Rapid does. You know, my own leather straps, which also let me uh, side pack uh, the camera, this is actually really high quality leather. This is actually genuine uh, uh, sheep, sheep's wool. I made this completely by hand. Um, I hate to say this, this sounds so superficial, but I mean, people are superficial, you know? Well, you know, you judge a book by its... Well, so what? People whistle at beautiful women. They don't whistle at ugly women. You know, people are superficial. People are going to say, well, this video is pretty superficial and stupid. I don't like what you're saying. But it's the truth. It is the truth. Just do a test for me. Find a big event where, like, rich people go. Because, you know, you know they asked Jesse James once. They say, why did you rob banks? And he says, that's where the money's at. 
Jesse James was right. You don't try to, you know, swagger and impress the po folks. No offense. You go to where the money's at. You know, Darren Miles, I'm going to mention Darren, Darren Miles in this video. Great guy. He lives uh, basically in Naples. He doesn't live in Naples anymore, I don't believe, but he basically is in Naples. Um, he is in, is in his own words, and I, my house is just north of Naples by about 25 miles and four miles. He has got more business than he can shake a stick at. He's like losing his mind, ah, according to him, with so much business. You know, there is a crap load of money in Naples, Florida, as we call it, Nipples, Florida. You go where the money's at. Pack a professional camera, put a button-down shirt on, look decent, you know, put on, you know, you know, grab your nice watch or Rolex if you got it. Pack a, you will end up, you go to an event where the rich people are out drinking, you, you'll, you'll end up with like 20 business cards before the event is over. Them giving the business cards, you like, hey, I need you to do some photography. I can't find a good photographer. You know, what do you do? I need some shots for my websites. For my corporate uh, junket that I'm doing, you know, uh, I'm gonna. Can you? Do you have a problem flying? And I'm gonna stick you on my private jet, and we'll fly out to our press junket and our business junket. Um, this, this, that's true grit. I mean, I mean, that it works. It works. Don't take my word for it. To try it once. If I'm lying, I'm dying. But that is one serious pet peeve of mine is that you could be the best photographer in the world, you know, um, or one of the best. And if you got that really awesome camera around that stupid ass neck strap camera strap that comes with your camera, you look like a douchebag. Everybody, whether they're a good photographer, uh, an awesome photographer, or a crap photographer, everybody, no matter how good or expensive the camera is, they all look like a douchebag. Um, you should be as comfortable packing that camera around as every woman, and this is the best analogy I can think of, every woman packs that damn purse around, and they pack it around every damn where they go, every day, and to them it's invisible. Your camera should be packed around as, as, as if it's invisible. It, this actually projects on people. If they see that it's uncomfortably strangling your neck, like that guy does, you know, he just has a camera. If someone sees that you're packing it like, uh, you know, a 40-year-old woman packing her Gucci purse where, you know, it's completely invisible, that, I mean, that actually comes off to people. This guy's a professional. I can see he's got his camera professionally slung, side saddle on his body. He's comfortable walking around. He's not sitting there adjusting it and twitching with it because that, that shows. That's the sort of body language that subliminally speaks to people. Um... This is undeniable. Um, yeah, go to a, an event where some people that have money sling your camera, have your business cards, but usually you won't even need your business cards because they'll talk to you and then they'll give you their business card. So if anybody tries this, you'll find out that it's 100% accurate what I've said. And please take off that stupid camera strap that came with your camera. That's not only a pet peeve of mine, but it makes you look like a douchebag. You know, I bet I'm going to get a lot of downvotes or attacks on this video, but I'm right. I am right. You know, whatever. If you like peak designs, fine. I don't give a damn. Some form of side saddle carry on your camera. A black rapid. I've got like a dozen or more different black. The straps that I use most often now, except for my GFX, the only factory strap that I actually use on a camera is side saddle slung between... Uh, side contact point and bottom point on the vertical grip on the GFX. Everything else, those camera straps, I never use that stuff. Uh, never ever, nor should you ever use them either. Why? There's nothing wrong with them. People have been using them for decades. Yeah, like when you see people, like they're on vacation and they have their camera strap slung around their neck and it's sitting right here, right between their nipples. Everybody that looks at somebody, no matter how big or expensive the camera is, the first thing that they think is, there's a goddamn tourist with a big, expensive camera, you know. He's not a photographer, he's a tourist, or he's a shutterbug, you know. Let me, let me, let me give you a, a little bit of a, a, a pointer here, okay. Standard camera strap slung with your camera right between your nipples. 
Tourist. Douchebag. Side saddle like Black Rapid or any of these others. Professional photographer, tourist and douchebag. Let me nail it in really close for you. People accuse me of repeating things. I'm gonna purposely repeat this a couple times. Tourist and douchebag, professional photographer. Oh, <laughs> excuse me, I hit my, hit my screen. Tourist and douchebag, professional photographer. Tourist slash douchebag, professional photographer. Do, do, do you feel me on that one? Do you feel me? Oh, you're being superficial. I'm also accurate. People are, by their very nature, superficial. <sighs> they judge things first by sight, you know? Generally speaking, if like somebody sees like some sort of dirty dude with like a scruffy face, you know, wearing like a tattered Walmart, they're not gonna approach them. They're not gonna talk to them. They're not going to engage in them. In fact, they're gonna back away. Beep, 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 beep. People are superficial. Because I know I'm going to get attacked for this video. Ah, oh, you're being so superficial talking about getting business by packing around, you know, the biggest camera possible and professionally slinging it. So, 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 so yeah. Yeah, well, what's your point? This is the same reason why people put on, like, evil, horrible, stupid assholes in business and all varieties of walks of life. These are the reason why these evil, sadistic, cruel scumbags of the world will like put on nice suits and ties and a Rolex watch and drive their fancy cars and oh man, that guy's, man, he's dressed nice. Yeah, but he's also an evil asshole. You know, people are superficial. Evil people cover up who they actually are with nice clothes and fine perfume and Sweet talk. People are superficial, okay? So don't attack me for this video. Everything I said in this video is completely accurate. The reason I'm scratching my head is due to sunburn. My skin is starting to pucker. Because, you know, everybody thinks I sit behind this desk all the time. <laughs> Everything I said in this video is verifiable, it's undeniable, and it's extremely accurate. If not politically correct or PC friendly, I guess, you know. Ah, oh, you're being superficial. Yeah, I'm reflecting the nature, I'm reflecting what human nature is. Okay, yeah. Same way people judge me over these, I judge people with a lot of tattoos. If I see somebody covered with a lot of tattoos, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I don't know if I want to get close to that person. <laughs> um. Yeah, I judge people based upon that. I mean, we shouldn't do that as human beings, but that's the nature of things. But anyway, if you want to make money and get a lot of job, get a lot of jobs, you will very quickly get more work than you could possibly handle. I can assure you of that 1,000%. Pro pack your professional camera, dress halfway decently, don't look like a dirty slob, and people, oh my God, you're a professional photographer. I need a photographer. Do you do work? Here's my business card. You know, I got, I got some work for you. Just like that. If I'm lying, I'm dying. There's, there's no chance you're going to prove me wrong about this video. You may hate it, et cetera, et cetera, but it is nevertheless accurate. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.